at you. Come closer, won't you? When you reach a certain age, it's a comfort to reflect on old memories. That's a portrait of me when I was young. <laughs> I was so feisty, so fierce back then. I loved the world, and the world loved me back. The passion of those days is long gone, but I still dream of those memories. I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any resemblance between me and that portrait? Do I still have a It seems Dupetto even taught you good manners. Yes, those beautiful memories are still vivid in my mind. Time. Time and the memories that fill it are all we have. I hope you're making some good memories of your own. It may be a comfort to you someday. reminds me have you ever heard the fairy tale all of that but this is so exactly a great weapon calls for a great warrior show me Vanini, even priceless things. Ah, I heard you defeated the King of Puppets. Amazing. Ah, the puppets appear lost without their leader. They have no purpose, no focus. To think one can have so much control through ergo waves. If we don't determine who or what is causing it, this could all happen again tomorrow. I fear I must call upon you again, my friend. Please gather records of the puppet's ergo waves while you're defeating them. you're here my son have you seen i can't believe my eyes it's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait i remember commissioning that piece 
memories from an artist named D. Gray. Like all artists, he was eccentric. He claimed that a painting could harbor... Forgive a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of... I know you're cured. Welcome, good sir. At last, we speak frankly, instead of with professional reserve. I have something to confess. Something involving your unique perspective. I am a puppet whose ego has awoken. I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I... Adore, Lady Antonia. It is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have, to be sure. I have no intention of putting myself forward, of course. However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? <sighs> it exists indeed. An unbelievable love to be sure. With a wedding ring as its symbol. I fear even trying to pursue such a splendid happiness. I have no intention of telling her, of course. It wouldn't be proper to burden someone so frail. If I may be frank, this is better than I dared hope. Even if you are telling me a sweet lie, I shall savor it. Thank you. It was wise to confide in you. Thank you for granting me that wisdom. No matter what fate brings us, serving her welcome to... No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side. Sir, welcome to...
my melody. This is her wedding ring. Our marriage should have been filled with joy. I failed you, Melody. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned she's a puppet. But she was real to me. I saw a shining soul inside her. Others laughed at me, but I knew the truth. I knew that she was in love with me, too. Maybe I'm crazy, though. Who ever heard of a human and a puppet in love? Oh, melody. My melody. Your words were everything to me. She was my guardian angel. The reason I survived the Krat disaster. Even puppets have hearts, do they not? Perhaps all we need is something that helps us perceive what they're feeling. <sighs> Sorry. I ramble when I get upset. Here's your reward. I think you deserve this ring more than I do. I'm more than happy with Melody's belongings. I wish I could offer something more, but this is all I have. Please. Remember the love Melody and I shared. Who knows? Maybe you'll find true love one day, too. Antonia's condition is getting worse. I knew it would come to this. The petrification disease locks people inside a cage, inside their own bodies. We're all safe, thanks to her sacrifice. But I wish for a miracle to save everyone. Me as well. The portrait hanging in Geppetto's room it looks very much like you. I sense something strange. Something like the changes you're going through. The sort of thing you'd read in a fairy tale. Go to Geppetto's room. You should see it for yourself. so worried when you marched off to fight the king. But this... It's a necklace from the Monad Charity House. They took care of orphans and impoverished children from across Krat. Many of those children grew up at the Rose Estate, 
and became alchemists, technicians, and stalkers. I hope the king didn't harm any of them. Or don't tell me. The king's ergo is actually... Are you okay? You look ill ever since I mentioned the necklace. My heavens, you look... Just hold the true secret of Ergo. No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady yes. serving her. Welcome to Hotel Cro. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? No trouble at all. I almost consider it my oldest hobby. Trust me, I won't let you down. There we are. A deciphered cipher just like, well, just like I used to make. If you ever need me to help you decode another message, I'm at your service. <laughs> 